with the Pocket 4K shooting RAW 3 to 1 at ISO 1000 and highlight recovery turned on in DaVinci Resolve, I was able to retain more highlights with the Pocket 4K than the A7S Mark II that was shooting an S-Log3 at ISO 1600. So I was watching a video by a real estate videographer and he was saying he used his, his A7 III for higher dynamic range shots and his Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K for more detailed or texture shots that don't require as much exposure latitude. Now I'm not sure how the A7S Mark II compares to the A7 III. The A7 III might have a higher dynamic range picture profile like hybrid log gamma. I've never tested that, but I just wanted to see how the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K compares to the A7S Mark II. So the A7S Mark II is shooting an S-Log3 and ISO 1600, which is a native ISO. And the Pocket 4K is shooting at ISO 1000, in raw 3 to 1, Cinema DNG. If we look at this dynamic range chart for the Pocket 4K, we can see we have 6.8 stops of dynamic range above metal gray. And that's the most highlight latitude of any ISO. So that's why I was shooting at ISO 1000. Let's jump into Resolve and look at these clips. Um, both of these clips are exposed at 18% on this 18% gray card. And if we look at this on the scopes, it falls about in the same place. The Pocket 4K is slightly brighter, but not much. So let's look at the A7S Mark II first. As you can see, it's exposed perfectly for the interior, but we wanna see how much detail is retained outside when exposed for the interior. So let's bring the offset down a bunch so we can see what's clipping. In these windows, we have the window fog is starting to clip. The top of this building is clipped and the sky is clipped. Let's look at this other window. These bricks are starting to clip pretty good. Now let's look at the Pocket 4K. I'm gonna go to the camera raw, bring it down to ISO 100, turn off highlight recovery. This will be closer to what you'd get with ProRes without highlight recovery. On the windows, it's pretty similar, but we are retaining more detail in the window fog. And if we look out this window at the bricks, it is starting to clip, but the clipping is less than on the A7S Mark II. And if we turn on highlight recovery, we have zero clipping out this window on these bricks. And very little clipping out this window. We've retained this entire roof, which was totally clipped on the A7S Mark II. We might have some clipping in the sky right here. I can't tell. It's a pretty smooth roll off. It might just be clouds. Now let's try grading these like you're doing a real estate video. You're exposing for the interior, but you don't want to completely blow out the outside. So with the Pocket 4K and the camera raw settings, I'm just gonna bring the highlights all the way down. So the outside looks good. We can bring the shadows up a little bit on the inside and there we have basically the whole scene retained, the exterior and interior. Now let's try the A7S Mark II. Let's bring the highlights all the way down. Bring the offset down. Something about like that. We're not gonna get these bricks back, those are clipped and um, we're not gonna get the top of this building or the window fog or really any of the sky back with the A7S Mark II. So in conclusion, there's not a huge difference if you're not shooting in RAW, but if you are shooting in RAW at an optimal ISO and you use highlight recovery and DaVinci Resolve, you can retain significantly more highlights with the Pocket 4K. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or corrections, the best way to contact me is on Instagram at Isaac Protova.